Doppel. Hey guys, what's happening? Today we're doing a theory video. I know right away you guys are probably cooking away because you think I'm copying some people, but I'm going to go way more in depth than they did. Somewhat, I guess you could say. But we're talking about Purple Man. If you want to see the two people I'm talking about, in case you don't know, I'll link them in the description. They did a very good job in their theory. So let's go back to where it all began. Fred Bear's Diner. In the mini game, take kick the children. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's you play as Freddy and you walk around feeding angry kids. Well, the odd part is there is a crying kid outside the door, and nothing Freddy can do, and we don't know how long he's been there. All of a sudden, this purple man pulls up, and you play as Freddy. Freddy slows down. Weird. It's like he's trying to stop it. But he's only programmed to help children, you know, give them cake, entertain them. So, Freddy's known it for a while, which is kind of weird, but... Uh, Purple Man. He kills the kid, and leaves. The weird part is, how this comes out and catch anyone's attention. And the reason why we still see the kid crying as he's dying, is because... Purple Man didn't use a knife or gun because that would make too much sound. He strangled him to death. It's so sickening that you would think a human being would do that, but it does. Then he drives away. And by looking at his car, it looks pretty alright for 1980s almost 90s, but I don't know, we don't know when Fred Bears happened is the thing, so whoever this person is, is rich, but look at this purple man model, it looks so pink, it doesn't even look purple, and at first I was thinking, wow, was this before he worked at the company? If, you know, or, you know, how does that all work? But, and then, you know, purple's when he works there. But the thing is, that's weird. Is that I actually decided to search up on the universal meaning of pink. And what I found was very weird for what we're talking about. And the definition, the universal definition of pink is compassion, love, understanding. What kind of compassion, love, and understanding is this man showing against these poor children? Strangling them. And it's so weird. But I was understanding love. The only other thing I could think of was love, as in his own greed, his own power, you know, he wants control, he loves murdering kids, compassion, he has a passion to do what he wants, he has a plan, he has a passion to make the plan work, understanding of what he's going to do, maybe that's just me, but it's just, how does that make sense? Let's jump back to the incident for the moment at Fred Bears. He he just pulls up randomly and kills the kid. I think he had to have known what he's doing. I mean, if someone pulls up and kills a kid that he just met and doesn't plan that out, it's probably not going to work out too well for him. But I really feel like he's been planning this out. I think that kid's been there for a while. Every day, door, crying. And Purple Man's just been waiting, buying his time. And found the right moment, and took it. And his plan was to leave the kid there to rot on the outside. 
the poor kid. Leave him there. And when people, family, families come in and out, and they think, you know, they see this poor dead orphan. The company is going to go out to business when they see it. So, so that's when the next step of his plan comes into play. Become CEO. The company needs this money to stay in business. So he, he planned this out. And my oh my. So. Then let's go to the Foxy minigame. Normal minigame for the most part. Foxy's running out. And you know. Doing his little thing for the kids. But the third time he runs out. The purple, the purple man's standing there, staring, smiling. But he has the pinkish tint to him, which got me off guard. It's like he isn't wearing his uniform. So, and plus, I don't know. I'm guessing this takes place after the next restaurant. And that's and that restaurant, and that's what leads into Five Minutes Fries too. This incident, Foxy runs out, sees dead children. And oh, wow, it's so just human being. But he knew what he was doing and smiling while it's happening but this incident gets the company to go out of business again and then they go to the next restaurant well you might be thinking why would he get his own restaurant out of business unless he what he could have done was purposely done it so they needed him so much more too. Like they could have needed him more. So, you know, get him so much that he's allowed to kill whenever he wants. And they're not allowed to say anything. If he tells them to delete the footage, they'll delete it. That's how simple it is. Now we skip over to the gift of giving life minigame. In case you don't know, Scott's a very religious man. And get the gift of giving life in a way, when I was reading up on it, for the most part, what I see is they're taking on their form, their resurrection, basically their internal life like, and yeah it's creepy but storyline plays out and the marionette saves them saves them and it's the first kid he killed too now let's come over to the final mini game look at the map Just look at it. There's dead bodies of kids scattered everywhere. And the sick purple man strikes again. It's like he's trying to purposely put the company out of business. But the weird part is is that, um, sorry, I didn't mean to say weird part, but, so, you're walking around following Mary Matt. sometimes you get introduced by a good old purple man, now, purple man, he's purple, oh my gosh, he's actually purple, this is like the only time in the game we actually see him, like, purple purple, and, why purple? He's been pink the whole game. 
love, caring, understanding. And he's not really. He's kind of his own greed. But how's some purple suddenly? I feel like this is what confirms this guy. This is what confirms this is not phone guy. Purple means royalty. The reason Scott didn't just choose a random color. He knows more than a lot of us think. Not just because he's creator of the game, but he is smart about this. And you gotta get so in debt. And purple royalty. He's wearing a badge. Purple. That's like the highest up. That's why I believe he is the COO, CEO, whatever you want to call it. COO, the owner. Okay. And now I'm making myself sound stupid. Um, and now a lot of people are probably going to start saying, "Well, there's a phone in his hand." Although the 8-bit graphics make it hard to see, it looks a lot like a phone. I mean, it's not a gun, but here's the thing. who He knows he can die. And he walks right at Freddy. And he takes down Freddy. He takes down Freddy. He shuts him down. Turns him off. Boom. As soon as he touches you, that's when the game ends. He turns you off. Whatever he has in his hand controls the animatronics. Now, I don't know what night he did this. All I know is that we weren't here. Jeremy wasn't there when it happened. <laughs> Alright, but it's so odd just to think of the poor parents, and basically, his way of covering up, you know, he turns off the animatronics, so they can't kill him, but the way he covers it up, is he does something for security footage. I don't know how security footage worked in 1987. But basically, he has to do something. Because they say they catch who they believe is the guy on camera. And he's convicted the next day. But not exactly. Um. Or, yeah. Is it, but, like, I don't. I, he's smarter than that. Now, I don't think he could straight up just delete the footage. Because the cops said they saw it on footage. Unless, in the first game, they are trying to hide it, hot cover it up. So you couldn't see it. So you couldn't tell. You thought, it's all good. He's gone. No more sick killers. And, basically... He told the cops who it was by sign of it. And whoever that poor man was must have got arrested. And Purple Man's still out there. He is still here. He is still here. And trust me, he ain't going anywhere. He's just figuring out what he's going to use next. And the sad part is his plan worked out so well that the company knows it's him and they ha they're protecting him too because they saw the security footage and they're protecting him because they need his money they need his money and that's why phone guy is protecting him <sighs> sorry and some of the messages he says and stuff they are protecting him so, he, he, I feel like he will be here third game, for sure, and 
just blows your mind once you get so deep into it. Before I go, here's what I want us all to figure out together. Fritz Smith fired seven knights, but the company's closed, so he couldn't have been there. It's not, it could be Phone Guy, but Phone Guy's not fired in the first game, so it can't be Phone Guy, so it must go in the first game. Wow, it's so complex. So in the comics below, all of us together are going to find out who the hell Fritz Smith is, okay? We got that? Got it? Good. Now, we will, if you would like to bring it up, we'll all talk about it in the comments together. But, I really don't believe this Fritz guy. I believe this Fritz guy is a big part of it. He's not just some random character that's thrown in for fun. But, we don't know who he is. Because he can't be the killer. He can't be phone guy. So... If you guys, as a community, we're all going to figure this out together about Fritz as a community. And might make a separate video once we get enough information on him. But thanks for watching my theory, guys. You know, I'll, if you guys want to watch the original, the people series on Purple Guy, I'll link them in the description below. The only difference is I brought up more of pink, the whole pink, purple side. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, as always. Peace.